right, everyone. Welcome back to the workbench. I wanted to do an intro uh, for this tips and trick video. Usually these videos are really short, but I just wanted to go over that this technique can be used for almost any stain. Um, in the video, you're going to see me using it for a ring around the collar um, for my work shirts, but it works for almost anything. I used it on a jacket yesterday, um, and I use it for numerous other things um, around the house. And so, uh, behind me here on the workbench, I have all the tools that I use, and uh, let's just go ahead and take a look at them, okay? So you'll see in one of the other tips and tricks videos, uh, I'll make a link to it, I used a toothbrush and my Simple Green, diluted Simple Green organic cleaner, and we detailed the truck, okay? So whether you're doing something like that, I also use the toothbrush with just a bar of soap, and this is the bar of soap actually from my shop sink, um, and I use this for the rearmed collar along with some dish soap, and you'll see that here coming up. But if you want to do carpet, use a little bit bigger brush. You can use a pet stain remover for that. Okay, I have when I do like uh, I have my more industrial strength soap scum removers and extra strength cleaners that I make. So all these ones obviously I make, these ones I buy. I use some of them as ingredients in these along with some other ingredients and we can go over that in a different video. Um, but pretty much really the only thing that you're not probably going to have later on the house, but if you have pets you probably do, is some sort of pet cleaner. But this is all you need to get rid of like any major stain from small to large, right? So with that said, let's get into uh, the ring around the collar. All right, guys, so here we got my two shirts with the ring around the collar, and I've got some dish soap, uh, the bar soap from the shop sink, and a toothbrush. So let's go ahead and get started. And you can see, like that's a stain right there. And you can kind of see some of the yellowing in the top right just from wearing your shirts all the time this just doesn't always come out in the regular wash right and then if we go over let's pan over here to the blue one and you can see a little bit like right in here it's not quite as white as down here or as even the other side. So if you were to look at it this way, right, you can see this white stripe. And then this isn't quite as white, and that's your collar. So I'm going to show you a couple little tips and tricks that I use before I throw them in the wash. So if we just come back over here, you'll see that I have my toothbrush and I have some just liquid. Dawn soap, grease power, or two times the grease power, right? And then a bar soap, right? So all I'm gonna do is take a water bottle and we're gonna wet these down. Right? And then I take my toothbrush and my liquid soap and just put it on here like you would toothpaste. All right, put a little dot on there, close that back up, and then all you're going to do is massage it in here. Kind of like how we did when we detailed the truck. If you remember watching that video, let's just, we're just going to put some soap in here, and we're just going to start working it into the fibers, right? Let's zoom in here a little bit, right? And we're just going to work it into the fibers here. You can see, when you get close, look, you can see that line right there. That's all, all dirt, right, and grease from your skin from wearing it. So we're just going to go ahead and just work the soap into the shirt in those areas. So this one, the white Hawaiian shirt, right? We did that with the Dawn soap, right? So we will just go ahead, 
that up there. And now we're going to transfer over to the blue one here. Okay. And this one, we're going to use the bar soap. So this one, we're just going to take our bar soap, right? We're going to get collar wet, get our toothbrush wet, get our bar soap wet, right? Because you need water to activate your bar soap. And just go ahead and rub your toothbrush on your bar soap here, right? And then boom, you have soap on your toothbrush that we will then rub into our collar stain, right? Get that, loosen up the fibers, loosen up the grease that's built up in there. And then we'll just keep repeating those steps. guys so there we have it so we have our two shirts all done and pre-treated with just our basic soaps that you'd already have laying on the house no no fancy uh, chemicals or <coughs> excuse me no uh, no extra pre-stain treatments that are just a bunch of chemicals and expensive from the store it's just bar soap and grease fighting dish soap that you can get for like a dollar or two dollars each that you can just, I, you know, I literally just keep it up here in the cabinet above the laundry. And then these, we just throw in the washing machine. Okay guys, so we put them in the laundry machine. Now I am still putting regular laundry soap in there as well. white one here and if we look at let me get the white one out we'll get it right here let's grab the blue one here's the blue one so I'm gonna lay these out here just like we had them before all right let's go back this way here okay guys so here we go there's the white one and that actually looks not too bad looks like we didn't get that stain out very good that might take some more scrubbing and but wash but overall the colors look pretty good there's not much of the ring around the collar. It looks like maybe a little bit down below, but not up high. So I don't know if I spread up the soap all around here or not, but that I think is a big improvement from what there was before. And you can always rinse and repeat and do it again. But if we look at the blue one over here, bring that one over now. This one looks really good. I think the white down here, which never gets uh, the sweat and stuff from your neck on it, this is down inside on your back, looks the same as this, and that looks really nice. All right, we can flip it over and get the outside, right? They all look the same, and it looks like your ring around the collar worked really good. Came out really nicely. I can see a couple little spots maybe right there. For a majority of it, it looks really good. Now this was the bar soap one, remember? And then this one, the white one was the Liquid Dawn. So what I might go back through is use the bar soap. I have found better luck with bar soap in the past and this little side-by-side -side comparison proves it. This looks way brighter than this does and that is the bar soap. So, there you go guys, your two comparisons liquid grease fighting Dawn soap and just regular bar soap, right? Hope that, hope that helps you out with all of your uh, ring around the collar needs for your dress shirts and there we go. All right, thanks for watching guys. 
All right, we're at the end of another video. Uh, there's the link I told you about at the beginning for detailing the truck. And uh, also, there's a the little subscribe button up there if you're interested in clicking that. You can uh, also click thumbs up or leave a comment, whatever you guys like to do. Um, I just hope you enjoy all the videos that I'm putting out, and uh, I will see you next time.